everyone. Welcome to Toddler Fun. My name is Miss Vera. Do you know where I'm at? That's right, I'm in the wonder cabinet. This is a gravity well. This is a washer. Let's see what happens when I roll the washer down the gravity well. Ready? The washer went down the whale. That is because of gravity. Today, we are going to make a masterpiece by using an inclined surface with some paint. These are the materials that we are going to use today. A dropper. If you don't have a dropper, that's okay. We can use a spoon, some paper towels, just in case, some paint. We are using tempera paint today. So we want to use equal amount of water to the paint. We're gonna need some paper. You can use any color paper that you want. We're gonna need a hard surface to work on. You can use a clipboard. This clipboard comes with the clip already on it. You can use a piece of cardboard with a paper clip on top. Or you can use a foam board with a push pin to hold your paper. You will also be needing a tray. I am going to use a cup to create that incline for my foam board. Let's get started. I am going to use the cardboard. I'm gonna get my white piece of paper, put it against my cardboard, and then secure it with my paper clip. I'm gonna use the cup to get the right angle. But if you use different size cups, you can experiment with different angles. I am going to place these paper towels right under my cardboard to collect the excess paint. Let's mix our paint. Remember I said if you're using tempera paint, you're gonna need equal amount of paint to water. I'm gonna use the spoon to stir and mix. Get that paint nice and liquidy. We are ready to paint. Okay, let's learn how to use our tools first. If you have a dropper, go ahead and pick it up. We're gonna squeeze the top of the dropper, squeeze and let go. Ready, one more time. Squeeze and let go. One more time. Squeeze and let go. Good job, boys and girls. Let's see, can anybody tell me what this color is? That's right, it's yellow. Remember, squeeze and let go. Wow, we have paint in our dropper. Let's add it to our paper. Ready? 
Wow! That is really cool. Gravity is pulling the paint down the paper. Wow. Let's try that again. Ready? Squeeze and let go. Let's try to make our paint roll down the paper very slowly. There it goes. It's going, but it's going slow. Let's try to make it go fast. There it goes. It's going fast. This was our slow one, and that is our fast one. Let's try another color. What color is this? That's right, it's blue. This time we're gonna use our spoon. Whoa. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna get a little bit of paint in my spoon. Can you get a little bit of paint in your spoon? And let's see what happens. Wow. Now let's try with a lot of paint in our spoon. Ready? Isn't that pretty? Hey, we used two colors. We used yellow and blue. But I see another color in there. What color do you guys see? That's right. I see green. <gasps> I got a great idea. What if we flip this around? Let's see what would happen. There we go. I'm going to use yellow, but you can use any color you want. I'm using the dropper, so I'm going to squeeze and release. And then I'm going to release the paint on my paper. That is pretty cool. Look at how the blue and the yellow blend together. Now I'm going to try with the blue. And I'm going to try in different sections where there's only white paint. I mean, I'm sorry, white paper. I'm so excited right now. Wow, wasn't that fun? This is my masterpiece. We would love to see your masterpiece. Maybe you can share it with us at hashtag virtual purple museum or hashtag purple museum creations. Thank you for joining us today. Bye. Thank you for watching our Virtual Purple Museum's broadcast. Our fall broadcasts are every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Visit us online and in person. Bill's Backyard, the museum's outdoor space, is open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.